I think long term, we have to be ready for a long bear market, three years or longer. How was your Thanksgiving dinner <laughs> versus last year and this year after all these events? How do you get new people in crypto after everything that, that has happened now? Do you think U.S. government will kill DeFi with bad legislation after the FTX disaster? Does the industry and total value lock shift more towards privacy or registered security tokens in either case? Honestly, the way things are going right now with the whole FTX collapse and insolvency and basically how much he has greased politicians and regulators to a point people are talking about him. I mean, basically, he's donated $40 million to Democrats, but more than that, He's basically donating across the aisle to nonprofits, all these different media companies he basically owns, right? New York Times, Washington Post, all these companies are just fluffing him up. They're trying to change the narrative that basically this was not fraud. This was pure fraud, in my opinion. But he's now, he's a media darling. I never really bought into the whole effective altruism BS. Because first of all, altruism doesn't really exist, right? Uh, for those who kind of follow philosophy, right? I'm big into Ayn Rand and rational interest. So when I, when I heard that the whole concept of effective altruism, that basically you're going to become a billionaire and give all this away. To me, that just seemed like a Ponzi. It just seemed like a, a finesse, so to speak, right? I never really bought it. But I said, okay, whatever. But after he later admitted that basically all this was just him saying a whole bunch of stuff to really get as much money as possible. He played the narratives right. He saw people like vegan, people like effective altruism, people like X, Y, and Z. And then he found all these media companies and gave them donations, grants, and now basically the press loves him because he owns the press. Honestly, it was a pretty wise move, but it's pretty psychopathic. But now regulators really are in his pockets. He was literally meeting with Gary Gensler and the SEC, CFTC, and he hired their old, their old buddies. He had all the connections. So the fact that they're not gonna kill his bill, they're gonna keep it moving, is very, very scary. It is very concerning. The way I view crypto now is, if you want the future of crypto to survive, you have to be a one single issue voter, right? Crypto or nothing. Right? Like for me, that's going to de determine whoever I vote for, right? In any, in any election. But what scares me is if they literally try to kill crypto, I, I may have to go overseas, but I don't want to. I want to stay here. But if they ban crypto, literally, what are you going to do? Do you just find some other industry? But anyway, uh, the other, other part of the question is privacy, yes, but they will always play whack-a-mole and try to find ways to make it tougher to do crypto here in the US. And security tokens, I had a video on this back in 2019, but they haven't really gone anywhere. There's no liquidity. There's no infrastructure yet for all that. Uh, there was like, what, T0 platform and poly, polymath, but all that has not taken off. What took off was DeFi. And especially now, after people have gotten wrecked from centralized entities, people want everything to be purely decentralized. How do regulators regulate that? They don't. We need new regulation. I know uh, our friend Ben Armstrong, Bitbo Crypto, is working on a, on a bill that will make crypto friendlier in the U.S. I definitely prefer that over the SBF bill. But basically, my take on it is it's not looking good for crypto. I think long term, we have to be ready for a long bear market, three years or longer. Because think about it. Public trust in crypto is decimated. Decimated. This is similar to how people got wrecked with Mt. Gox and had to just get out of crypto. And really, there was really not much action till like 2017, 2018. Now you had FTX, who was in the spotlight. They were doing commercials on Super Bowl. They had Tom Brady, Supermodels, Warriors, FTX Arena in Miami, Larry David. They had paid off basically everybody. And now they went bankrupt. So now public trust in crypto, I think, is decimated. So the question is, are you willing to stick, stick around for five years for this trust to come back up? Because um, I think it might take that long, maybe even longer. Who knows, right? Because this was a huge collapse, in my opinion. The public trust is what concerns me the most. Because crypto can go up and down. Who cares, right? That happens all the time. That's a weak in crypto. But the public trust, and for a company so public that was valued at $32 billion, to collapse that drastically overnight? I guess the question of the week is, how was your Thanksgiving dinner? <laughs> right? Versus last year and this year, after all these events, how do you get new people in crypto after everything that, that has happened now? They'll be more skeptical. So anyway, that's, that's my ramble.